Welcome back, everyone. We are back at it with another version of Express Court. Keep this one super quick and fun. All right, so today's Express Court, this is a Smoke Wagon Bottled and Bond Rye. So this is actually the first rye product that Nevada h &C Distilling Company has actually put out, right? When you think of Nevada h &C, or let's just call it Smoke Wagon, right? When you think of Smoke Wagon products, what do you think of? We all think of, number one, their uncut, unfiltered bourbon. Fantastic. They're a small batch. Fantastic. I mean, and they're even like the single barrels that they have of their um, their uncut unfilters as well. Always amazing products. So this is the first time they're making a little, let's call it the leap of faith over into the rye whiskey world. We do know obviously Smoke Wagon, they're very upfront, which I love about them. They're sourcing their whiskey from MGP and they're obviously just, you know, blending it or bottling it, or in this case, just bottling it, um, you know, under their, their name, of course, under Smoke Wagon. So Let's check out this uh, Smoke Wagon Bottled and Bond Rye. So for this Bottled and Bond, we know it comes in exactly at 100 proof. There's no exact age statement. Of course, for it to be Bottled and Bond, it has to be aged at least four years. Uh, so we don't know the exact age, but we know it's at least four years. Could be five, could be six. We don't know, right? Could even be more. We don't know. Uh, MSRP. So this one comes in at about 65 to $75. I've seen it actually in stores recently at like at 65 bucks. I've seen it online for like 80. Uh, so it's like in that range. It all kind of depends on where you where you live at, obviously in, in the US. I'm sure California's gonna be much more expensive than it is in Delaware because Delaware is obviously just a very, I guess a cheap place to live. <laughs> but, um, but seriously, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive depending on where you live and so forth. We know how that is. And from a mashable standpoint, now this one is truly barely rye legal <laughs> it's 51 percent uh rye 49 percent corn so you got 51 percent rye 49 percent corn so it's truly barely a rye it's very much kind of plays like in that whole kind of like the pikesville right where it has a lot more corn in the nashville it's not your traditional rye where it's, where it's like a 95.5 so it's not that at all it's truly a barely legal rye all right now i gotta give props where props are due so i did not buy this bottle one of my patrons my buddy terrence he uh, gifted me this bottle. It was on my, I think my September list of whiskeys to try. And uh, he found it and he, you know, gifted me this bottle. So Terrence, cheers to you, my friend. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm really excited. So I will say um, my last Patreon, uh, Patreon happy hour, I actually popped this bottle open during that actual happy hour and we were having a blast. It was actually <laughs> quite funny, but uh, I popped this one open then. I even added, went back, added a little bit to my infinity bottle. So let's see what this is all about. Now that it's been open for almost like a week now. All right, let's get into it real quick. Color wise, you can see this is like a, uh, almost like a golden brown, very light in a, from a color standpoint, extremely light color. Very nice and light, almost like a golden brown. How about it all? All right. Let's see here. So the nose has a good balance of like, definitely obviously like a, a good blend of maybe a little bit more floral, those, the spiciness from the rye, a little floral, a little bit of mint, a little bit of pepper, and just a smidge of like honey and caramel from the, uh, from the corn, from the, from the, from the bourbon, or from the corn, I should say. So it's a good blend in the nose of like your traditional rye nose, like your mint, your floral, a little peppery, but with the, the honey and the caramel kind of blending in. The nose, honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really impress you that much. It really doesn't. The nose is just kind of flat line. <laughs> I mean, it just, it's just there. It's just there. All right. Oh man, here we go, folks. Got to get into the palate and the finish. Let's see how it is. Cheers, everybody. Mm, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, hold on. Let me get a little bit more. Let me get a smidge more. Okay. So... The palette and the, fin the finish is just here, slowly fades away. The palette is actually okay. It's somewhat okay. Um, all the notes I, I mentioned, like the um, the pepper, the mint, the honey, the caramel, it does come through a little bit more cinnamon in the palette than I actually didn't notice, notice in the nose. 
but the palette is okay. The verdict, judge, please keep it real with me. Always 24 seven. The verdict, my friends, is in. This, mm -mm -mm. that is a no buy. I'm sorry, that is a leave it on the shelf. Maybe I have a bad bottle. So I will say try this at a bar only because I love smoke wagon, like the bourbon, the uncut, unfiltered, the small batch. Every day I've owned, I own and have owned numerous bottles of their bourbons. To me, there's something off with this. It just doesn't, it doesn't impress me at all, honestly. For a hundred proof bottled and bond rye, that's barely rye legal, 51% rye, 49% corn. I just expected something more. I expect it to be a bit more well-rounded. And honestly, it just falls short. I mean, there are a lot of other great rides on the market that are in the $65 to $75 price range. Sagamore, Pikesville, even Pikesville, it's 110 proof, but you can, if you want to proof it down to even be 100, you can easily do that by adding a couple of drops of water. This to me is just way too bland. Honestly, for $65, $75, it's way too bland. If you are asking me, Judge, what would make this a buy? It's a decent deli sipper, but this is a $40, $45 bottle all day long. No way it deserves to be $75. I feel bad because my buddy Terrence bought this bottle. Terrence, much love, respect, man. Thank you for letting me try this. Um, but for everyone out there, please try this at a bar or at a friend's house and save your money. It misses the point big time. That's it. I'm out. Till the next time, friends. Peace, cheers, salute. Take care.